Hello, squirrels. <laughs> I told y'all I frogged. I don't know if everybody heard me or not, but I frogged all that I did on that Advent scarf. And I put it on the big ones like I'm supposed to do. So now I am so far behind. But today's my day off. So I'm going to get caught up. Only have a few more rows in this. And I got to do all this. And then today. So we're here to open up the next one. I think it looks a lot better though. Don't y'all? It's supposed to be this lacy. I liked it the other way too. But doggone I made a second mistake. And it was just... I was not happy with it. And you want to be happy with it from the get-go, so. And I get to use my nice furled hook. So this is tiny little mercerized cotton yarn. It's probably a two, I'd say. I don't even think it shows on the little minis. It's probably on the box, so. But it does say to use much bigger uh, needles, so it'll be nice and lacy. And this scarf is not for warmth. It was totally for purdy, for accent, so. And these needles are a size 10. Good old furls. Knit needles. I think I have three sets, and there are four different sizes, but keep waiting on them to come out with their circulars and they keep keep saying coming soon well that's been for probably more than a year oh, I forgot to show this at the beginning screenshot <laughs> maybe it'll pick it up maybe but probably not my screenshots lately have been me with the crazy face so i got a lot of work to do today on this but it shouldn't take that long i've been meaning to show y'all the pattern this is a free pattern and you can find it on ravelry their ravelry name is turvid t-u-r-v-i-d and this person is norwegian She's, I guess it's a she. I knit, crochet, and try other crafts as well. And if you want this, it's called Free Pattern One Row Lace. And it's only a... Tells y'all the stuff here, and it's an easy, and then it's marked slash intermediate. It's very easy, y'all. It's a one row repeat. One row repeat. There it is, if you don't have a way to print it. Hopefully you can, it's close enough you can see it. But this is the website. Maybe you can see that. But I think if you just go to Ravelry and type in Turvid, T-U-R-V-I-D, this will come up. It says, give me a pearl. But there's not any pearls in it. There's only knits. The row is, uh, after you knit two rows, you start off with 24 stitches or any number divisible by, by four. So any multiple of four. And you knit two rows. And then the knit pattern row, which is just one row repeat. Knit four, yarn over, knit two together, knit two. And that's the repeat. Yarn over. Knit two together, knit two. Yarn over, knit two together, knit two. That's all. And then you come out with this groovy, lovely little lacy pattern. And I don't know if I'm showing you the front or the back. I can't really tell. Looks pretty good on both sides, I think. Probably the other side was right, though. But anyway, so I've got to finish the green today and get this brown on. And let's see what we have today. And I know because it's peeking out. It's going to be a sunshine yellow. So we're starting off with some folly colors. That olive green is sort of a bronze brown. And this looks like sunshine yellow. If I had to name it, which I, I'm naming these because they only have lot numbers. 
and color numbers. And remember, these are the shapes that a lot of people pronounce sheep G's, but I'm pretty sure it's shapes. Let's see if it does have a number as far as what size the yarn is. I don't think it says. But if I had to say, I would say a number two, a sport weight. That's what I would say. And it is 100% mercerized cotton. 10 grams. There's all the deets. And it says to use a 2.5 to 3.5 needle with it. But remember the pattern says to you to use a much bigger knit needle. Which I did. I'm using 10. So it's making it really open and lacy. But I like it. And I'd be, even be able to wear it. Or whoever gets it. I'm not sure if I'm keeping it. Or giving it away would be able to even wear it in the summertime. So that's cold spring, summer, fall, winter. And anytime scarf. So I hope you can find this pattern if you like it. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it short. Because Miss Dana's on. If y'all hadn't been watching Triple C and Joe's show in the mornings at 9 o'clock. Monday through Friday, unless something comes up, sometimes things do, but um, she's been doing like a craft every morning. Sometimes it's just to work on whips or whatever, but one time it was to do these, and I'm wearing two of them today so I can be Christmassy. I mean, y'all know I have no Christmassy tops and stuff, only a couple, so. I'm trying to make my, and I only have a couple of hoodies. No coat yet. My mom's, I love this white vest of hers. Here I am talking clothing. <laughs> oh, well, it's a vlogmas besides a calendar, an advent calendar opening too. So maybe you'll forgive me. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be back on to read the next chapter. I think we'll be on 32. If y'all aren't following along with the Anne series, and I've got lots of books in my playlist, if you look. Everything from Tom Sawyer to Dickens, Christmas Carol, um, to the Anne series. We had the uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder books. We've got tons of books in there. So you can have your own granny audible to listen to, bless your heart. While you crochet or knit or spin or whatever it is you do. I hope you have a great December 3rd. Stay crafty and be sweet. Don't be ugly. Love y'all. Bye-bye.